What happened? What happened? Is there like a limit on the show? I don't know. I think there's like a limit or something. That was really weird. Sorry, guys. Send the questions again. Let's get Tony back in here. Yo. Hold on, Tony. Is there like a time? Is there like a, I wonder if there's a time limit. Like they kicked us off because we hit like an hour exactly. That might be it. That's lame. Well, well let's go. We got, we got five more minutes. Let's keep it going. We Everybody came back in. Oh, What was Chris, the question though? Oh, um, I don't remember now. Oh, um, If you see stupid questions, just don't ask them. No such thing as a stupid question. No such thing. Uh, they want to know, oh, you, uh, uh, are, you, do you, are you proud of the DVD, The Show Must Go Off? The next one, like, do you think that's a good representation of how you sounded at that point in your career? Yeah, they sound fucking great. Listen to a lot of bands live, they suck asshole. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I still love that one. Listen to a lot. I mean, listen, I'm not going to figure this one out. Here's a band that's still one of the biggest bands in the world that when they play live, they sound like a dick. But... Next question. Well, they're, they're all piling back in. That's why. We'll give them a second. Ken oh, wants okay. to know, f favorite hometown pizza spot? Hometown? You could do Chicago, then, with better pizza. Right. Um, there's too many. In, in where I grew up, in, in Blue Island, there's like, there was Giuseppe's, Ray's, uh, Feggers. That was like in my small little fucking town. And it was in this one, too. The Chicago one. Uh, what the fuck is it called? I was just in my home, in my little hometown. That's three right there. That'll fucking blow your tits off if you ever try it. <laughs> They want to know Green Day or Blink. Come on, that's not a real question. Come on. I love Blink, but but come on, <laughs> Green Day. Yeah, like Green Day's the band. Let's see. Tour with Good Charlotte again. They don't really even tour that much themselves, so who even knows? Uh, they don't tour that much. It would be a hard call. We'd have to have long talks. Yes. Um, let's see. Do you think about Utah still and all the Mormon pussy you told us about? <laughs> Was that, ask them if that was on the MXPX tour. They can hear you. <laughs> well, was that on the, the MXPX tour? Let's see. Um, <laughs> everyone go listen to the new Mess record. Yes, that's true, Masquerade. You can buy the vinyl. That's what you should be doing and watch the video too. There's a story about a last day of tour prank that I did on MXPX. I don't know if they're talking about the Mormon pussy or what. Or just some other random time that I talk shit about Mormon pussy. So it just depends. Are you a fan of Newfound Glory? I am. For sure. Um, yeah, I think they write really good songs. Fan of, fan of the songs, I'll say they that. They still do, which is cool. Yeah, like, weird. Uh, yeah, Jordan's, Jordan's a fucking sweet dude, and Ian's a nice guy, and so is um, Cyrus. They're all good, good kids. I see. I see what you did there. I see he left out. Um, let's see, next question. Um, weirdest band that you like? Milo? Dude, I respect that. Milo's good. I love Meatloaf. I, in the interview yesterday, Meat, Meatloaf. But I don't know what's weird to these motherfuckers. I love Meatloaf, Creedence Clearwater Revival, The Fray. I listen to one of the old Moon Five records a lot. I mean, it's, you know. I mean, it, it, oh man, I love the early two thousands music. I think all that, even, even the pop stuff, was good back then. I think music overall was just, you know, it is it's the nostalgic thing. <clears throat> you gotta remember, you're tying yourself to songs that tie yourself to a time in life. So no you know what song? You know what song I love? The New Radicals. You get what you give from two thousand one. I love that song. Oh. <laughs> Every night I crash a Mercedes Benz. When he, yeah. uh, he wore the racing jacket, bald head. Yes, I love that song. Yep. <clears throat> he ran around in the mall. Yeah. That Never was like liked that song. Was... Still don't. But <laughs> it does cool. tie me back to that memory where I'm like, it wasn't that bad, but I didn't like it. That was like uh, after that song, you didn't want to be in the limelight, so you started writing songs for other people. And I think he's still pretty famous, but behind the scenes, he just writes hits for other people. <laughs> I was gonna make jokes. I'm not going to. UCLA April said, "I love the first Maroon Five record." <clears throat> and a music elitist would say, "Do you mean Caris Flowers or Maroon Five? But I'm not gonna go there. A music elitist would say that uh, Ricky Martacci, who was our tour manager for years, <clears throat> tour managed Caris Flowers for all those years. And the reason why I started taking Propecia is because I saw it in Adam's bathroom. I saw his little bottle. And I was like, what is this? Propecia. Oh, that makes your hair good. I started taking it. Favorite he does have great hair. He does. Propecia. Favorite, oh, yeah. favorite movie, which is like the hardest question ever to answer. It probably changes every day, right? Um, Stand By Me or Blood In, Blood Out? 
Ooh, blood in, blood What's, out. Well, I don't know what that is. Blood in, blood out? <coughs> Google it. It's a fucking great movie. Goonies. Is it like a, like a, Goonies. like a, like a, like a, like a mafia movie? Uh, Mexican mafia movie. Gangster shit. Donnie Brasco, whatever, that kind of movie? Uh, more like Better than that? What is it, True Colors? Yeah, it, it was more of the, um, what's the movie with Tupac? Uh, Poetic Justice. Yeah, like that style. But just, just, just watch it. All right. and run out. I'm going to extend this for five more minutes because we had, we had cut out for like a couple seconds before. Favorite, favorite female fronted band? No doubt. What? Why? I'm kidding. I, never mind. It's a stupid joke. I get it. No doubt. I know what you're saying. Um, I mean, I, I, mean, not, I, 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 I actually really, I mean, I loved Tragic Kingdom. I loved Beacon Street. And yes. I, I loved that band. Awesome. Did you ever play with No Doubt at all? Open up for them? Like even like Yeah, man. Here's, here's a fun fun story. So we, uh, the first big tour we ever did as far as like stadium shit, we were on the outside stage, but it was Black Eyed Peas uh, prior to Fergie joining the band, Lit yep. and No Doubt. This was in 2000, maybe? Or you can look at how the tour was. Um, our drum tech used to be Adrian's drum tech, so we became friends with their crew and everybody right away. Got... So normally, like, if you're in the outside stage, you don't get backstage passes. You're not necessarily part of the tour. Um, but we would get passes every day to go backstage and hang out because we had the connection. And we made friends with the Lit guys right away. And they were fucking awesome. And we'd drink with them every day. Jägermeister, that, that was their thing. They still drink it to this day. Um, but then I would, every time I'd see Gwen, she was, like, already a star at this point. But, like, she had her own security. She sort of, like, everywhere she went... But I would try to make my way to her and talk to her as much as possible. I always wanted to take a photo with her, but she was always doing her own little sessions and shit. And like one day we're just hanging out, all of us, like even like the No Doubt guys and shit. And like yeah. we're all walking by and she's like, Tony. And I'm like, hey, Glenn. And she's like, when are we gonna take our picture? And I was like, whenever you can. And as she keeps walking. Um, then one day I get on stage, <clears throat> um, everybody's drinking. Like they used to bring everybody on stage for the last song. And then everybody does like the bow and I do like my arm around her. I get in the middle, bow with everybody. And then shit, you know, like three months later, my tour manager was like, hey, so when you were on that tour with No Doubt, um, you know that she had a crush on you. Uh, and I was like, uh, no, fuck off. Uh, I was like, no way. So this is pre-Gavin. No, this is, this is when she started dating Gavin. But I think, I can't actually, there's some other stuff I can't tell you about. But there was somebody else, <laughs> people who know that business know who it was but anyways okay. <laughs> uh i did not believe him and so he had just had a baby boy and i said i said dude swear on your son's life you're not fucking around so word from their camp got back to our camp that gwen used to go on the bus and always be like that little blonde kid from that band blah 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 isn't that so she actually had a crush on me one time in that moment i fucked amazing i and never would have went for it anyways dude i would there's no fuck. If, if I do the math really quick, I think she might be, what, 10 years older than you. So she could have taught you a few things back then, huh? She's 50 she now. She taught me a lot of shit back then. She's, she's 50, believe it or not. I, I looked that up, like, like not too she's long ago. My, my dad, my dad, was like, my dad wanted to know. He's like, how old is Gwen? Tell me how old she is. So I looked it up. She looks day. fucking fantastic, man. Did you have your big 40th birthday, or were you pretending we're, we're both 25? Did that happen my, yet or not yet? No, mine hasn't come yet. June. This year? This June. Yeah. Oh, man. I hope we're out by then so you can yeah, celebrate. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, me and Adrian are eight days apart, so. But he's I not turning. He's, right he's not turning 40. No. I'm not, no, I'm not turning 40. How old are you turn? I think 38. Yeah, me too. Nah, I, was I, I feel like we yeah, have to believe it. It's 38, 38 or 39. He's I lost track. We had this conversation the other day. I'm going to go with 39. I think 39, maybe. I'm turning 38 yeah, think, on June 21st. I think you're two, years. you're two years older than I am, though. Well, how old are so, you? I'm 37. To think about yeah, it. I'm 37. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there you go. We celebrated our like, birthday last like year. It's like we Vegas. can't solve this with the simple thing of how old are you now? <laughs> how old are you going to be? I didn't That's kind of weird <laughs> that you don't know how old you're yeah. going to be. But we'll say forever 29, right? Yeah, I'm in it. it. <clears throat> in our hearts. Well, I want to I want to plug a few things and then we'll we'll wrap it up. I want to I want to thank everybody for watching first of all. Um, I'm gonna go back and like record this and then put it on YouTube so people can watch it forever. I'm gonna figure out how to do that. Awesome um, sessions. 
Yes, I'll be back on Friday with uh, Kevin for used to be in Ghost Town, not O Town. Is uh, yeah, you know, so it's, uh, now he's Kevin. Now, now he's Kevin Ghost, so he'll be here on Friday or, or here on Instagram Live. Make and then, sure you tell Kevin I say hi and I love him. I will, and then I'll Saturday will be uh, Chris from Less Than Jake. Make sure you tell Chris I said hi and then I love him. <laughs> and then for the people watching that like female fronted artists, there's a really cool Instagram page called Women in Stereo. So I urge you all to check out Women in Stereo. It's really cool what they're doing over there. I support it, helping out all the different women from all different genres, not just rock, everything. So check that out too. And uh, before we go, guys, and thank you, Adrian, for joining. Now it's like, a, makes it like kind of like a party. Um, I, was, I was the drink uh, server. I'll uh, give you the floor, Tony. Make sure they know like everything about the record and where they can get it. I want them, I want them to know every single detail right now before we go. All right, here's the, uh, the plug. Um, <clears throat> check out Masquerade, the video on YouTube. It's on our page. <clears throat> um, or if you go to <clears throat> Alt Press, they premiered it for us, um, which I think still links to our page or some shit. Um, if you want to order the vinyl, um, that's on our website, which is, fuck, this is shit I have a hard time doing. Mestmerch.limitedrun.com. We have vinyl up there. Um, in a couple days, I'm going to list uh, some of the other vinyl on there. I just have, I'm having a hard time selling the other vinyl because our Kickstarter stuff hasn't gone out yet due to the mail being slow and I had to send shit around yeah. to the guys to get signed and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, um, what else? Uh, the new record on Spotify, iTunes, all that shit. We do have a couple copies of our original record that you and I talked about, More, more, more Money, More Forties. I fucking yep. found a box in my dad's storage in the garage of the original pressing in a grape, Welch's grape box uh, from moving from Blue Island. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, and then we have two more videos that are gonna be coming out over the next couple of months, just trying to figure out when I'll release them. And I'll let you guys know as soon as I know when the show out uh, in California of us doing the original uh, or Wasting Time front to back with special. Well Minus, minus minus one minus track three i think it is right it's not true we might play it we actually might play it out here okay i'm going then i gotta go and that's cool uh, that, you, that you have the first record available i i i, I must have got it like on interpunk like in 2003 the the mo 40s it's probably where i found it back in the day good chance remember, inter remember interpunk? In interpunk was a great site i missed that i think they're still around interpunk.com yeah yeah but uh now we can get it right through you if they want to get it so that's really cool you yeah, wonder, just go somewhere else and get it for free. That's true too. Um, thank, all the bands. thank you everybody for watching this. I'm glad we, I, I feel like we almost had a better response than we would have had on Friday. So I'm glad we did this today. You gotta, like you, know, more people. you know what you gotta do, man? Just the tip. Wait a couple days, full insertion. I like it. And I'm gonna I go, like I'm gonna go watch Blood In Blood Out and give you a review. And everybody go watch the interview whether or not I played with Green Day. And, and everybody go get Love song. And everybody watching, if you've never met Tony, he's the real deal. I started doing interviews in 2002, and you were probably one of the realest people. It gave me an interview every time when I was a college radio DJ to now, so I really appreciate it. It's true. You used to hang out on our RV and shit. We tried to like give you drugs and shit. You were like the you were like the nicest one, and, and the lit and the lit guys too. Honestly, lit were always really nice to me too. They're fucking. I love those awesome. guys, man. I'm still good friends with those guys. Awesome. Have a great night, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. You too, buddy. Later, guys. Bye, everybody.